Baik, sementara itu Naib Presiden dan pemegang kerusi etika Persatuan Pakar Ortodontik Malaysia MAO Dr. Noraini Alwi melihat penularan individu bukan doktor yang memberikan perkhidmatan kesihatan sebagai sangat membimbangkan. Beliau turut mempersoalkan bagaimana peralatan perubatan yang dijual di atas talian boleh diimport masuk ke negara ini untuk dijual dan digunakan individu bukan profesional. Um, you know, our enforcement side, when things like this enter the country, they're not monitored. And I think this does not just go for braces. There are a lot of other things um, to which the same thing is happening. So um, it would be good, I think, if our authorities start looking at what is being done. Because honestly, this is not anything new. This has been happening for many, many years. Um, and uh, the Malaysian Association of Orthodontists have actually brought this to the attention of the authorities, to the Ministry of Health, to the highest level for quite a few years, for almost 10 years now. And uh, we don't see anything being done. Dr. Noraini turut menggesa semua pihak, termasuk kerajaan, untuk memastikan wujudnya kesedaran di semua peringkat tentang bahaya pendakap gigi palsu atau fake braces. Uh, to curb this problem, uh, I think it's a big problem and it has to come from the authorities. It's not anything that the association, as an association, uh, we can do on our own because it involves, um, you know, the law. Mm -hmm. It involves, for example, policing by the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. in that they are empowered to take action against these people. Um, Also, you know, when these things are being imported and brought into the countries, uh, these are the, some of the things that uh, we need to work on. Perhatian turut perlu diberi kepada doktor dan pembakal produk ortodontik yang menjual kelengkapan kesihatan kepada individu bukan profesional untuk keuntungan. Tambah Dr. Noraini, Malaysia tidak perlu menunggu sehingga berlakunya kematian seperti yang berlaku kepada dua remaja di Thailand untuk mengambil tindakan.